McDonald's mukbang. Let's do this. All right, all right, all right. Today we have McDonald's yet again. Um, I kid you guys not, ma'am. Sorry, let me just adjust my laptop. Very unprofessional. It's been a while since I had McDonald's, and uh, I'm gonna keep it very honest, ma'am. The reason I haven't had McDonald's in a while. Just didn't feel in the mood for McDonald's, but now I'm actually pretty hungry. Uh, this is actually my breakfast right now as you're watching this video. So today, um, we have unfortunately yet again the same, um, since unfortunately they don't really sell a lot of vegetarian burgers at the moment at McDonald's at my place. They've actually removed the, like two or three items off the menu, which is a little bit strange, but oh, hey, it is what it is. As you know, a couple of months ago they had the veggie nuggets, which were disgusting. Got a large fry, which I'm going to be very honest, I'm actually surprised how big this one is. Normally... It's very small, but it's actually big. Got the homestyle mac chicken, veggie, obviously. You know what? Your boy wanted some hot cocoa this morning. So let's just dump this and let's enjoy this. So I keep having questions of you guys asking me, what is this sauce? This is called Free Sauce. Now, I don't know if you guys can get this in America. I don't think you can. So yeah, I'm privileged to have it in the Netherlands. Mm. Yeah, this is good. The fries are warm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh man That is actually a lot, whoa Okay, huh, a little bit surprised, keep it very honest That is, wow That's a lot of fries You know, you know this whole conspiracy thing of McDonald's, right? With the fry thing, like, it being a scam Not here at least Whoa I mean, look at this Hmm yeah, this is really big. Let me put this one aside, actually. Might have started out, man. Try the make veggie burger. Mm. Mm. Well, that's good, man. I haven't had it in a while, like I said, man. It's very dry. I just came to the conclusion. I think it's the lettuce actually that's dry. Not even the burger itself, but the lettuce itself is actually a little bit dry though. Yeah, the lettuce is very dry. Wow. Mm hmm. It's good. Don't get me wrong. I'm actually surprised I didn't mess my order. As you know, last time, talk about two months ago maybe, I made a mukbang with McDonald's, right? They served me real chicken. And how I can tell it is because it's not slimy. Real chicken is a bit slimy, you know. And this one isn't. And I can taste the structure's different. It's a lot of fries. I actually, I thought I'd order two because I didn't know if it was actually going to be like a big fry. But I'm actually a little bit surprised how big it is. Yeah, this is a lot of fries. Wow. I actually love these fries at the moment. Cause I, can't, Cause I went to McDonald's in the morning I, I literally just grabbed this like 20 minutes ago Normally my fries are, you know, like caught But they're actually warm Which is really nice mm, That's good man You know what? I'm gonna do something a bit weird today Is that cheese? <laughs> what the hell is this? Huh? I've never seen this. Onions? I don't know. Okay, a bit strange. I don't know what this is. I want to say, okay, the lettuce is disgusting. All right, the lettuce is so soggy. Can't even eat it normally, by the way. Oh, look at that. I am a bit tired today, so like, just keeping it honest with you guys, I'm a little bit tired today, didn't sleep well, but hey, we're gonna make a mukbang for you anyways. Yeah, I'm coming to the conclusion that the sauce on it is actually, it's actually uh, an onion. Oh no! Mm hmm. It's the sauce! That white stuff, I think, is a sauce, if I'm not mistaken, right? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, man, but it's good. Mm. 
the Virgin King approved definitely. Obviously, McDonald's is not the healthiest option. So, you've been very honest. A lot of salt. I know you can actually order without salt, but I went inside for a change just so I could just relax and grab my stuff on a, on a slow pace. Um, but like I said, I was looking at the menu. I was like, holy shit, they got like nothing at the moment. They don't add anything new to our McDonald's here in the Netherlands. It's kind of boring, you know. I mean, obviously, once in a while, they add something like new chicken, new this and that. But like when it comes to vegetarian, they don't really add. Matter of fact, they've actually removed most of the vegetarian stuff so like the mini apple pies which i think were amazing really tasty they're not on the menu at the moment um the vegetarian chicken nuggets which i'm not gonna keep it honest i thought they weren't disgusting but they weren't good like nah -uh. definitely not um so i can't be asked about that one i don't like them really wouldn't bother if they came back because i wouldn't eat them anyways um but well, some items I'm like, damn, why did they remove it? I don't understand what the reason that for is. Maybe it doesn't sell. Maybe it's just a a limited time only thing. I don't really know. But like the Big Mac and those things have always been on the menu. They'll probably never change because they're probably the best seller. Um, but one thing I can say, McDonald's has gotten very expensive. All right, the fries converted from euros to dollars. $3.10, which... You know, it's, I think, reasonable considering the amount of fries you get. It's actually a lot of fries. As I said, let me show you the box. It doesn't look like a lot, but it's actually more than you think. And I'm pretty surprised, actually, they fill it so so good. Um, but like we all know, man, with the drinks, they scam you a little bit. They never fill it to the max. I think mine was filled to here. It's like 75%, which, you know, it is what it is. But when I pay extra for a large, I do expect it to be fully filled. But it's the same with like the soft drinks and like the smoothies and stuff. They don't fill the goddamn thing to the max, which I don't understand why they do it. I, I I just never understand. I know some people have commented in the past that they worked at McDonald's or work. There's a specific reason for that, but I, I don't remember what it is. But the prices have definitely gone up. The quality of the food is, I guess it depends on what quality your McDonald's food serves. Because not every McDonald's has the same quality standards, right? Uh, I do believe so. Because I, I know, I remember when going to Thailand years ago, God, that is something else. Like the beef patties there, they, not only do they smell more real, they also tasted more real. No offense, you know, to my Dutch McDonald's and American McDonald's. We've tried, I've tried them all, you know, American McDonald's, um, good. Although saying that, no, I don't think I have. No, I don't actually think I have. Sorry, I had to edit something out. I don't know what that is the whole time in the back of my like this. I know some of you probably don't really care about it, but I do because it, it's irritating when I'm talking. I can hardly hear myself. But I don't know. I don't think I actually have been to McDonald's in America um, before. But this is a lot of food. Before you complain in the comments, oh my god, he doesn't eat his food. You have to realize these portions aren't small. This is food for two people, three people. These fries alone, eh? these can feed two people. And I'm. Most of the times, I'm eating food for three, four people, not meant for one person. So just to let you know, I do eat these. And if these don't get consumed outside the video, I give them to my brother, which hey, he will actually pick the fries up. Yeah, he, he will. But now, like I said, I haven't actually been to American McDonald's. I don't know what the taste is like. Don't know if the quality is good or better there. But like I said, I've been to Thailand and I can definitely tell that the quality there is... I think much better because it, it's not only just cheaper but I kind of like feel you also get a little bit more because I've noticed with the McDonald's here in the Netherlands you pay a lot but you actually don't get a lot so for example this burger alone a veggie burger I think it was I want to say 335 but I think it's actually 5 euro 35 just alone that's pretty heavy on a burger man but saying that you can get a burger for like 3 4 euro at a snack bar so is it really pricey? I don't know. I think it depends on the demand as well, you know, but I don't know. Really, I don't know. Mm. Sorry for the dog in the background. I don't know why I decided to record these videos during the day. Um, I just think it's easier for me to edit them during the day and then they're done, you know, but... I think it's actually a little bit of course slot on here. Which I like, don't get it wrong. I actually think it's really nice. Something new. Now, but like I said, they they hardly add anything new to the menu, which kind of makes it really boring and basic with McDonald's every time. You know, I can keep on making McDonald's mukbangs, but 
when they hardly add anything new, I'm like, there's no point in making a video on the same product again, you know, I, I don't understand the point of it. It's good though. Yeah, just wanted the burger today, just wanted some couple of fries, which I got fries. I think I got a little bit too many fries, but hey, it's still good, you know. Like I said, I'm a little bit tired today as well. Not very energetic as usual. I'm just very tired, I mean, you know, I haven't slept good last night. I think I went to bed at like 1 o'clock. Woke up twice. I don't know what it's going on recently, man, but I've just been waking up so often at night. I don't know why. And I'm taking sleeping pills as well, so I shouldn't wake up. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do about it, man. Maybe you can help me down in the comments what I can do about it. Because the thing is here, right, in my room... It's the highest room in the in the house, but I kid you guys not, I can I can hear anything and everything from downstairs. It doesn't matter if the door's open or closed. Anything I hear, I hear it. So it's basically pointless closing the middle door because it goes literally through the glass. Especially when you have a dog barking, it's got a loud bark, you know, like my dog Bella. It's pointless almost, but yeah, man. I don't know. As I said, I I'm moving out soon. I'm just hoping that they just hurry up a little bit with the house. It, I wouldn't be surprised if they're already done with it, but I kind of hardly doubt it. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to move to my house. Obviously, man, that'd be so awesome just making mug things there and just eat some more there as well. It's going to be lit, man. Obviously, I'm going to make a house. Uh, I mean, it's not going to be a very, like, long video, but hey, it is what it is. Um, like I said, I didn't want a mortgage, can't afford one as well. Even though, yeah, I'm quite aware of the fact a lot of people, actually most of the people, pay it off a month. And that's, that's normal, really. But I personally don't want to be attached to that and, and, and realize like, oh man, I'm losing this percentage of my salary basically a month for a house to live in on my own, which is too big for me and it's unnecessary as well, you know. I'm not like these YouTubers that go and splash money on a expensive car or, you know, these kind of things. I don't because it doesn't interest me to, to show people that I have wealth because there's no point in that but yeah we're going to end this mukbang video thank you guys so much for watching and like i said sorry for the background noise man i am recording this during the day so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll check you guys later man like i said new video on the podcast tomorrow and a new asmr video stay tuned man